Hey everybody, it's Mike Vero with The Echo, and today we're talking to Jonathan Hain about drone photography. Hey John. Hey Mike, it's good to be here. It's great to see you. So, what is a drone? So a drone is pretty much just a flying robot. A drone with a camera at least, um, you could use a lot of times for shots you couldn't normally get, like if you were on the ground. So a lot of aerial shots, or shots where you can't go. Um, maybe it's like above a waterfall, or in the middle of a herd of water buffalo. Okay, so I'm looking at this here and it just looks like a white box. How do you actually work this? Right, so we have this. You might hand me that controller. Oh, yeah. Careful not to fly it. So with this, this will connect to the drone. And then this has its own Wi-Fi signal and it'll connect to your phone. And so that allows you when you're flying to see through the camera what's on your phone. So this specific camera, it's made by DJI, um, but it's mounted on a gimbal. It's called a gimbal, so when you're flying, because um, a lot of times you'll be banking and turning, but it just reduces the vibration and the, and the shake and the noise. It shoots 1080p, 60 frames a second, it shoots 14 megapixel stills, and so it's really um, comparable to just like flying with a GoPro. Um, not quite as good as a, as a DSLR, but a really good camera still. So now we're going to look at a couple example photos and videos that one could get with a drone. So what's this first shot, John? Um, this first shot, it's really nothing crazy or special. Um, it's just one I liked. Everything's dead, so it's not really pretty, but it's still cool. You can see all the other fields. Um, and right there, there's us. Another one, this is probably one of my favorites. This I shot towards sunset at Mustang River. I saw the snaky river pattern nose and uh, flew it over there, flew it straight up pretty high. It's like about 400, 500 feet in the air. Again, it's just really neat the perspective you can get because you can see it on Google Maps, which is a lot of, which is a way a lot of times I'll plan out my shots. Um, but it, when you're there, it's a whole other experience getting to see all the way around it. This was just a cool shot. This was uh, out in a field with some friends who, who have a bunch of horses. And so they were out in the afternoon running around and I flew my drone over there and I was curious how close I could get. And they were just really curious and so they just stood there. And so I got closer and closer and closer and uh, I was able to get that picture. This video is a video I shot of Colin Jones. I almost said Mike Vero, you're right there. Um, but I shot of Colin Jones at the skate park over by, over by Lake O. It was one of the first times I'd gotten out with my drone, and so it was just cool getting different shots. It's also really funny as you see these shots, knowing the backstory behind them, like this shot right there, um, I almost hit a kid right afterward. There's other times where I'll like crash the drone, but you don't see that. Almost gave Colin a haircut at one point. Was it hard to maneuver around Colin without actually? A little bit, and I, I appreciated his trust, but, uh, but towards the end it was a lot easier. Because just with anything you get better, the more you, the more you do it. So, oh, there's a selfie. Great. Cameo appearance. But, yeah. Cool. Well, I appreciate you coming out here and talking to us a bit about the possibilities of drone photography. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you, Mike.